All right, guys, we're here with Dylan at Icon, continuing on with our technology theme. And Dylan, we talked to Clay over at Expedition Overland, yep. and he was letting us know about a really cool technology you guys came out with for suspension. Brand new electronic shocks from Icon Vehicle Dynamics. Wow. Um, that is a phenomenal upgrade. We've, we're the only ones, uh, one of the few that have been testing these trucks. So all of our trucks, uh, the Forerunner, the Tacoma, and the other Tacoma, uh, have been running those on the Alaska Expedition through all the water, through all the testings, and they performed. They're amazing. I'm super jealous right now. Super it's jealous. incredible. <laughs> what is this? All right, this is uh, something we've been working on for quite a while, but it's launching today. Um, I think in about five minutes. So it is a active suspension, electronically controlled shocks um, that interfaces to the user via an, a, a phone app. Wow. Th so let me ask you this. Are we the very first people to talk to you about this? Publicly, yes. Ah, look at that. I very first. I was not allowed to talk to anybody before about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. It's good to be one. All right. So there's a brain in this, correct? Correct. So underneath the hood of the truck, there's a control box. Um, it's about this big. On that control box, it's, um, it's a circuit board that we developed. It's got a G sensor. Um, it's got drivers that power the four or more shocks that are on the vehicle. Um, and it holds the algorithm that decides what and when to do. So that box then Bluetooths to your phone app, and that's the user interface. One of the great things about this is because it all resides under the hood where the wiring takes place, you don't have to go through the cab with any controllers or wiring, and it's a really easy install because your phone is the user interface. That's excellent. So it's all phone controlled, the whole system. Correct. Wow. And now I've been told by Clay that this, you can almost jump this truck and it will set, it will adjust in midair to to receive the landing. Correct. So what it's doing is it's via the the six axis G sensor that's on that circuit board, it's trying to determine where the wheels are, whether they're at right height or they're extended or compressed. So the, the G force that the chassis experiences is analogous to where those wheels are. So the philosophy is, if the G-force indicates that the wheels are extended, what's coming? They're going to compress again. And if they're, if they're extended in a certain situation that the algorithm decides is significant enough, it goes, they're going to come back, come back at a pretty aggressively. So it instantly turns up the stiffness of the shocks for that event. And that event might only be one or two seconds long. And then it goes right back to your nice, comfortable setting that you were driving down the road with. And it and it's the sensitivity of all these things is also user controlled. Wow, that is amazing technology. Now, did this, how, where did this originate from? Is this something that you guys completely came up with or is this taking from like Formula One or some other kind of off-road technology and, and making it more consumer based? This is, this is just something we saw coming in the industry. We, we, we saw the need to either get on the bad wagon or get left behind. So um, adjustable shocks have been around and even electronic shocks have been around for a while. Corvettes have magnetic fluid shocks. Magnetic fluid shocks for an off-road setting is not a good combination. I looked into that possibility. They don't handle uh, more complicated shock circuits like remote reservoirs and things like that. It doesn't do well in those situations. So we opted for this high-speed solenoid controlled um, fluid management. So we're doing the same thing basically that our manual knob does. So we, we for years we've had a, a shock, we called it a CDC shop, shock, uh, compression damping control. And it has a knob on the reservoir with 10 clicks um, and you can set the, the stiffness of your shocks. If you're driving down the road and you want it comfortable, you set it to one. And if you're in really aggressive off-road terrain at high speed, you set it to 10, or towing or loaded or whatever, anywhere in between. And we've had those for quite a few years. Um, the drawback is you have to get out of your car to do it. And if you're, say you're on a trail that's five miles long, 
and it's it's cobbly and in, in small cobbly rocks uh, and chattery, but you don't really need the thing stiff for the whole time. But there's probably 15 obstacles where you want it really, really stiff, big dips or, or drop offs or something. So prior to this, what's your option? Well, I'll put it halfway, I'll put it at six or seven. It, it'll be a little uncomfortable for 90% of the time, but it'll be stiff for for 10% of the time. So now, with the G-Sensor on board, it's soft 90% of the time, which is the majority of the time you want it comfortable. And then when those obstacles come, it adjusts for that obstacle. It's like magical pixie dust. That's, that's amazing technology. Well, also, if you, if you want more control and you don't want that automatic part, you can put it in manual mode and you can adjust the shocks manually. So you could put it on one, you can put it on 10 um, just from your phone. So prior to this, if you knew that this trail was, was just kind of cobbly and you wanted it soft, but there was one mile of stuff where you wanted hard, you could stop, get out of the car, go adjust your shocks. But in reality, people didn't do that. They put it on uh, too high of a setting at the very, very beginning of the trail and they'd be missing out on a lot of that comfort. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of unknowns. You may not know that that's what's on that trail. Um, and now you can go, oh, look, I can see this, this next half a mile is going to be pretty rough. I can manually put the setting on a higher, higher setting or anywhere in between. You can even combine that with the automatic part. So you can say, I'm going to, I'm going to preset this at, at a middle setting and then still let the computer go to full setting a couple times when it needs to. That's incredible. Now, I'm almost afraid to ask, what does the price point look on this? So we're looking, when you compare it, depends on the vehicle, right? So every vehicle is different. There's different bracketry and, and stuff needed for different vehicles. But if you already had the manual option, uh, we're looking at around $1,200 or so to $15 um, uh, from wherever you were with your manual to go fully, fully uh, intelligent control on your vehicle. Okay, and now what's a brand new kit for say a Tacoma look like? Oh, I'd have to check those prices. I don't remember. I, uh, I do all the engineering, but I don't remember the prices very yeah. well. I'll be honest with you, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm yeah. sure it's, uh, you know, Icon is known for their high quality, but obviously you pay for a price of, of having that high quality. So I have to assume it's gonna be, it's gonna be up there. But hey, if, if 1200 bucks gets you to the next level, mm -hmm. uh, if we, the system you already have, that's perfect. Yeah, and, and we're still we're still finalizing the pricing on that, but we're trying to make it as accessible to people as possible because the more people realize how, how much nicer it is, um, then then it'll be appreciated more. So we're trying to make it as accessible to everyone as possible. Um, the the system also does some other stuff that's fun for uh, for the group that you're in. So it does a um, uh, an overview of your trip. So it'll tell you your your maximum g-forces that the vehicles experienced in, in different directions. It'll also tell you how many times it takes a log of how many times the computer intervened on your behalf. We call them g-events. So you might be driving down the freeway and maybe there was one g-event when you changed lanes abruptly. So the the, the sense that you have the the user controls for sensitivity are in two parts. There's a G-boost control, which is how sensitive it is to up and down movement, and there's a corner boost control, which is how sensitive it is to left and right movement. So you're going down the freeway, it's not doing anything. It's just on your soft setting or wherever you prefer it, um, and it hasn't activated for an hour, but you change lanes quickly and it'll tighten up the outside shocks in a turn, just for stability, freeway stability also or curvy roads. I went, yesterday I went, um, I took the Jeep Gladiator down to Sedona and there's a really winding road. So I put everything on full softness except for the corner boost sensitivity. I turned it all the way up. And every time I went through those curvy turns, it would tighten the outside shocks. Left hand turn, right side shocks would get stiff. Right hand turn. And the stability and confidence in a Jeep with big tires, which is a little bit of an unruly thing on a curvy road, yeah. was was increased dramatically it was great that's amazing i think clay's words when he talked about the system was game changing uh and and he also said that it the driving characteristics were so similar to the stock ride 
drive that uh, even with 35s, it felt like he was driving a stock Tacoma. That's great to hear. That's our goal. That's what we're hoping to do. Yeah, so it's not just off-road prowess. You're looking at road safety also. I mean, that's you're hitting two different markets there. Correct. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. And um, and the convenience of the, the in-cab and user adjustability to, to put change your preferences much more easily, um, which is exactly what I did going to Sedona. I said, you know, this is a curvy road. And I didn't know. I hadn't driven that road before, actually. And I saw it get curvy, and I went, click, you hit a couple buttons on the app and turned it up turned up the sensitivity. That's amazing. Uh, Icon, you, you guys are killing it. The engineering on this is just amazing. You are a very, very talented man. And Dylan, I really appreciate your time. Where can people find you guys at? You can find us on the web, all the normal uh, social um, social stuff that'll take us take you all to the website and everything. And uh, there'll be a lot of uh, social media coming down um, the pipe here in the next couple hours on this. So thanks to you guys too. Excellent. All right, you guys keep an eye out for the newest stuff from Icon. This is launching today. We are the very, very first ones to talk to Dylan here, who engineered this entire system, which is just phenomenal. And Dylan, thank you so much for your time. You betcha. Thank, thank you very you. much.